Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check.
on all your favorite brands. Why not consider calling Lorville home? Residences are available at all price points. See a habitation rep for details. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching. Now arriving from Tisa Spaceport, stand by and let passengers disembark before boarding. Close at any time. Be considerate to your fellow travelers. Do not lock doors. Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. Now arriving, Tisa Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching.
and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online.
front impact warning. So, hello mate, my current rig is a um, i9-9900K, um, 64 gig of DDR4 and dual 2080 Ti's, all running on uh, liquid cooling. That's what my rig is at the minute, and I've also got... Um, B index VR system as well. Um, as part of that, I've still got my two rifts, but I don't use them anymore. So that's what my rig is right now, but and lots of fancy lights as well, because you've got to have fancy lights, right? Two Ks, as Butters says. Your flares are online. But. It's all paid for. It's all mine. streaming to both Twitch and YouTube the other day because I was just testing and discovered that YouTube right now is awful. The rendering is despicable compared to, uh, compared to Twitch's. Quantum drive is now stay on. Twitch So everything's in 4K now. Yeah, because my mic's not boosted on here, mate. I've not set my mic up to boost to talk, because that's not my intention at the minute. Was to was just do gameplay at the moment rather than just chat with folks. So my mic's boost is really low compared to how loud like, this game actually is. Nah, but I'm not running cam at the minute, mate. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to find a decent high end right now. Uh, I can't find one, which is a bit annoying because I want the high rate FPS one to run base over IP in game, and then the second one I can use for everything else. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, hang on, watch this. Quantum drive is now boost. So you should. No, I should be really loud because I've boosted the mic. But this is probably better. I don't know. You can tell me. I've just switched to boosting on the mic rather than pissing around with OBS. Right, let's get down and go and deliver this package or this piece of property. Yeah, I just haven't bothered me updating it because. Reasons. This this patch is quite buggy. It's not very stable, so there might be a lot of crashes. There's a lot of stuff I need to reset up for streaming that I haven't done yet. In-game adverts and stuff. I'm not using Hot Ask, mate. I don't use Hot Ask because I'm not a giant pussy. KBM, mate. KBM. I'm a pro. Can fly just as well. KBM and Canon are hot ass. I don't use hot ass, mate. I'm not a giant, giant pussy. I'm not a giant pussy. Right, I need to stay above 3k. So that's 
I don't get flight control taken over. So this is Laurelville. It's a shithole. Nobody likes Hurston Dynamics. Nah, mate, it's not. It just makes things more complicated because then I have to switch from hot ass to keyboard and mouse. What is the point of that? I don't understand. I'm switching from, from a hot ass into keyboard and mouse. I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. So if I'm going to use KBM, it means I can be on KBM all the time and I don't have to switch from a joystick to something else. I thought about using a throttle system, plugging in. Oh, here we go. Oh, and the crash is coming as well. Wonderful. Right. What fucking pain in the ass was this? I, it's been really unstable this month. What's the crash this time? Wee. GPU crash. Fuck's sake. Uh, so I'm going to be crashed and fucked in this now. Mate, there is no shit. Why the hell would I want to be all in ship all the time? That's the whole point of Star Citizen, buddy. Fuck the ship. It's all about... It's FPS, mate. I'm just flying in FPS mode. And what does the GPU log say? Because this is the first GPU crash I've had in a long time. Well, at least a couple of days. Star Citizen, GPU error log. Was that? TSAA again. Goodbye. There you go, boys. Enjoy. Fix that. Hopefully this log gets sorted out. Sooner rather than bloody later. And let me just go and. No. Oh, fucking hate focus stealing. Fucking hell, Windows. Fucking Windows. I tell you. Fucking Windows. Right, that's submitted. Uh, uh, let's go back in. Probably everything's bloody broken. Well, not broken, but my ship's probably smashed into the ground. Why do I want to buy Doom? Doom sucks, mate. Doom VR even sucks even worse. I've got Doom anyway. I don't need to buy Doom. I've got Doom. But that's a really, really narrow view of what an FPS is, mate. Need to open open your minds. Open your minds. Do, 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 do. Right, crash. Is it going to work? No. Let's, right. So crash recovery is a bit broken at the minute. So what you gotta do is keep doing this until it lets you in. Who have I got on contact list? Meet these online. There we go. And eventually it'll work. But I'll probably wake up in Laurelville back in my hab and my Cutlass Black will be a small wreck on the floor somewhere. And I'll lose all the mission markers. So I won't be able to track any missions, so I'll have to drop them all. Another bug. Wit wit. Alpha baby. Uh pardon me. I need another coffee, is what I need. So the stream is currently using about 5% CPU. Yeah, told you. And I've no mission markers, so there's no point. So this should be the same hab. Lift is right there. Oh, I 
this is all the fun of them. Oh, don't you start me doing this again. Double for an opening, closing Moby Glass, you piece of pain in the butt. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go back and I'm going to join a new server. See if I can get a reset. I don't think this server is very happy. I don't think the client's very happy. I say, fix it, babies. I love my coffee. Metro Center transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. I was playing yesterday and I played for six now hours with no crashes. This morning I played for an hour and had about five. One GPU error, one fatal, and the rest have just been memory allocation errors. Just weird stuff. 
Sometimes you can have really good time and really, really clean, really stable session. Other times it just doesn't work. Hopefully we'll get a patch really early this year. It'll be working good. Step away from the platform edge when training. <laughs> Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. So this train travels around 200 meters a second. That building, the large one in front of us, is actually four kilometers high. It's ridiculously big. And it's the Hurston's main capital building. So if we were to take the tram to the uh, capital business district, that's where we'd head. There are some landing pads up there that haven't been opened up yet, but that's the plan that you'll be able now to Now arriving, here Tisa Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Yeah, you gotta watch your step when disembarking the train. Right, let's go and see what my claim vehicle status is for everything. Jesus. Yes, it's destroyed because it flew into the bloody ground because I got crashed. Has that claim worked? No, because it's being exceptionally slow. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what to get out. Hang on, let me go drop these missions as well. Oh, I don't have them anymore because it's a brand new server. Excellent, right. Nothing on there I want to do. Retrieve stolen. So let's do another retrieve stolen property because, you know, well, I'll do call to, I'll grab call to arms because I'll just get money for killing badmans. Right, so. I need something that's got a bit of a hit, but I can also carry cargo in it, so... Oh good, it's registered my blown up of that guy, so I'll get some pew. Hang your set. Chance. The Ages Vanguard Sentinel. Aegis or Aegis. I say Aegis. A E G I S. Aegis. Not Aegis. Because that would be E A G I S if it was Aegis. Like eat. Aegis. It's Aegis. That's what I say. Lord team, sort it out. Let us know. 
there's an argument even within our uh, CIG about how you pronounce it. But I say Aegis because it starts with an A and the E's silent. <laughs> Close that, open that. That's the only problem I think we have with the Sentinel and the Harbingers, to be honest, or the, the, the Vanguards, to be honest, is the fact that the door for this and the door for that are really close to each other. Other than that, this ship's amazing fun. So this is uh, the Sentinel, which is carries an EMP device on board. It's pretty cool. It's really good fun to go in and actually... Oh, here we go. We're going to get 30k now, or is this just going to take forever? No, I think this is actually a crash again. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a crash. Or is it? I don't know. I think it is. I'm just not getting there. Uh... Yeah, it's definitely a crash. This is not going well. See, the minute I stream, it's... Oh, it's to God. It was yesterday was fine, though. Or yesterday or Friday was fine. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Gotta love it, though. Right, kill it. This has been really unstable today. It's a Sunday, so what do I expect, eh? Trying to verify, and I'm going to also do... Because it's been considerably crashy, I also do this. Have I got any screenshots in here? I do have some, actually. Nothing amazing, but, you know. She looks pissed. That's Microtech. I did some videos yesterday and uploaded them from Microtech, so the sunrise sunset thing from yesterday was quite nice. Uh, right, okay. We're done. User folder's been reset. Let's relaunch. I've done a verification. Let's relaunch. It's been considerably crashy today. I don't know why. It's not been happy. If it carries on, I'll just stop streaming because it's not worth streaming when it gets to this crashy state. It doesn't bother me, but it's not the most entertaining or best uh, way to show it. Kind of sucks. And I want to get a coffee, so I want to go and... Uh, what do you call it? Who's on? I've got people online. Oh, Liam's on, because he's going to come and try and fucking stream stamp me like some penis-headed wanker. That's right, I called you a penis-headed wanker, you stream sniping shit. Uh, right. He'll be giggling, by the way, because he'll think he's funny. But he's not. He's not funny at all. I need to look at my stats as well, find out where my stats are, my telemetry stats are, because I've been getting really good frame rates recently. <sighs> okay, what we got? So this is a completely reset, so I need to go in and do, so you get the musical coming louder, my restart, oh dear god, that's all reset. Tooltips are back up and running, I'll leave them up. Brand new server. AI is actually wandering around. Can you refuel on Hello 4? Yes, you can, but there's a bug at the moment with refuel rearm repairing where uh, you can't if you've landed. So you need to uh, hover and then refuel, repair, rearm. Not quite sure if you need a valid landing place, but you're better off asking for it, otherwise you'll get fined for blocking a valid landing port. So what this will do, this will actually reset all my GPU settings, all the graphics settings, all the audio settings, mic settings, everything back to where it was. Hopefully that'll get rid of shaders, that'll get rid of any problems on that. We'll just have to see. 
I don't know if it is or not. I need to turn the music down as well. Although the Star Citizen music is awesome, and normally in every game. Um, I usually turn the music off altogether, but not in Star Citizen. I quite like the music in Star Citizen, so I tend to go around about there. You'll see my graphics are all set, reset, reset, everything's reset back to where it was. I can turn the hints off because I know 90% of what the hell's going on. Default coverage distance. I have no idea what that is. No idea what that is. I'm going to leave it. Look ahead is on experimental. So that's the new look ahead system. And just head movement. Star. Yeah. Subtitles enabled. No. Look ahead experimental. Look up. Yeah. So this is all the defaults on there. You got VOIP. So VIP is automatic. So it'll just use whatever I tell it to on here. So the one I'm actually using is that, which is my OS default. If you can see, it's not muted. It's up 100%. It'll just do that. So I can set that so I don't have to press numpad plus to actually do anything. It'll just start speaking when I do, which is nice. It'll be a lot easier when that's in. And I do not have FOIP turned on at the moment. FOIP is awesome. Because the game's unstable enough, I don't want to add anything else into it. Why can't you lock into some enemy ships? Because you don't know what the hell you're doing. So 1, 3 and 5 are the uh, keys to lock on to friendly or enemy targets or next target. Next enemy target, 0 will deselect now because that's zeros in there and deselect is a thing. Right, so because I've ran around here a hundred times, I am going to run and I hate running in this game. I detest it, it's just... Not that it's a bad thing, I just don't like running in the game, I just don't see the point of it. It's supposed to be immersive. So, doing that isn't immersive, it's just bullshit. But, I'm sick of walking through Lorville, so I'm... Uh, I'm going to GTFO out of here. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, I would go to New Babbage, but it's oh crap, the train's here. Am I gonna make it? Three, nope, five, four, and there's another player. I'm gonna wave at him. See if he waves back, so I'm gonna moat him. Hi. Next stop, Wasn't even Pizza looking. Spaceport. Let's say, uh, say hello to Nicholas Flamel, who spelt that wrong. Oh, this DM thing is doing my head in. Fix that as well, please. Oh, a lot of the chat system needs to be fixed because it's eventually, as far as I understand it, the chat system is going to get linked to the spectrum because when we get to server meshing, everybody, global chat will be everybody playing the game in its entirety. I'm going to turn it off. See, now that guy's jerking around the place because he's in running mode. He was in walking now mode. Now arriving. Have this problem. He's he's really cool. forward. Please watch your step like with disembarking the train. I've given him a wave a moment so he didn't bother so he's a dick. You're a dick. I waved to you and you didn't wave back. That's ignorant. So that's me just VIP him, but I'm not even sure VIP is working. So I mean, look, uh, it's just, how is that immersive in any way? I don't know. Anyway, I was running anyway, wasn't I? <laughs> Contradiction. Hypocrite. Right. Just so I can get off this planet, get away from Lorville. Not that Lorville's a bad place, but it is. It's not nice. It's not a great place to be. The lore in Lorville is not. The lore in Lorville is not nice. Hurston are not nice. It's very over corporate, very autocratic, very restricted. There are no weapon shops in here. They don't want their 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 people armed in any way, shape, or form. Can't stop visitors here being armed, but the normal residents and employees in here aren't armed. Right, let's get the Sentinel back out again, because, you know, why not? And we'll get the hell out of here. Back in Hangar 7 again. I hate running, running sucks balls, but I'm running, because this is pain in the butt. Right, let's go here. Yeah, just, that is just really giving away 
what's happening with the, the lifts um, in the game right now, so the, that's literally what happens. It's not the greatest solution right now, but it certainly was way better than it was. So the previous way, all it did is it played the noise for a little bit. So you, you should hear the, over me, you should hear the elevator noise going on. Um, and then you just teleported to here. Um, and then the marker just updated for your ship. Um, this is much better than that, obviously. But right now there's a bug where you can actually see the elevators. So they're, they're rendering way quicker than they should. So you're actually seeing them. And even on some of the, the space stations, you'll see them fly in. Or fly out when you're coming into land. Before the, so it's a bit annoying. So hopefully they'll update the pathing and tracking system. Because I think the lifts right now use the transit system. So they use the system that um, the AI ships will eventually use. Um, so the AI ships, when you go in, you'll be able to take a flight from... Um, I'll be able to fly from, say, from Tisa Spaceport uh, and fly to, I don't know... Um, to one of the HDMS places and I take a flight or take a flight from Lorville and fly to Port Olisar but that's not me flying I'll be the AI flying so they'll take control of quantum they'll take of that they'll do the landing and I'll just arrive right let's fully turn this on and let's get out of here. Activated. Systems green. so when you're getting a lot of crashes like I was there that's probably the first thing I would recommend guys is literally not speaking are you is um, well, let's go to target stats on that screen. Uh, yeah. Launch complete. Proximity alert aft. Proximity alert. Port. I'm just getting out of here. I don't care. Proximity alert aft. Pass carrying. I just want to get out of the lower room. Ah, oh, fuck. And this is the other Landing annoying thing. Rejected. Fucking autopilot is so aggressive in Orville. Because we can't see the disgusting brown mesh that used to be there. It's really hard to determine where you can't get in and, and the, the no-fly zone is really tight upon those hangars. But again, that's Lorville. It's just Lorville. It's not a game thing. It's just Lorville being Lorville and them just being a bunch of hookers. Uh, right, so getting off Lorville. I don't want to be in Hurston altogether, to be honest. Uh, Just go out to the, uh, I'll go out to Levski and I'll go to Levski instead. Levski's not a bad place. We'll just set that and at least Esk er Erskine will actually speak to us. The good thing right now is when we get above about 10k right now in this patch, we can actually quantum out so I don't have to go up to 100,000 anymore to actually get the hell out. So hopefully 10,000 and you can see I'm not able to quantum because I'm in the upper atmosphere. And I'll get quantum ink and I'll go and make a cup of coffee. Because that's what we want to do. I need coffee. Quantum travel initiated. You probably off to go and do something in this game. Someone interdicts you, but it's fine. I'm not too bothered. It's the bounty's being done. Someone's got an interdiction up because they're stopping that guy from QTing. So the bounty hunters interdicted the guy, stopped him running so he could engage him. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to carry on. Now, back to getting the coffee.
what I usually have <laughs> for some of these longer quantum drives is I used to have adverts, which I haven't actually put in yet. So these are actually, <laughs> these aren't IRL adverts, these are adverts that are from in-game. So things like the Cyclone advert, stuff like that, I just haven't set them up and I've grabbed another couple um, which I'm going to work on but I just haven't done it yet and I need to get that set up. So I've just been test streaming right now. Um, just to see how everything is, so... It's been working out fine, Twitch has been okay, it's been quite, uh, what do you call it? Two sex. It's been fine, you know. It's, uh, sorry guys, I was looking out, trying to get the thingy up. Uh, on the wrong window on my browser. Ugh. So what do I normally do on stream? I used to do everything, basically. Uh, there's a lot of missions to be done. I'm really tired, it's Sunday and it's... My sleeping pattern, I've been off all over Christmas and New Year, and my sleeping pattern is completely broken, so I'm really tired. Oh. oh, Oscar Blitz has sent me a DM, but I can't get to. Hang on, fitching in and out of the game again, I need to fix that. All right, okay, so you're getting blocked. Uh, spam. Next. Right, so that's in blocked. I fucking DMing people. I've got DMs and I'm like, what? Okay, let's ignore that. Just, just literally people DMing me from months ago because I've not been on Twitch in months. So you get to see my beautiful desktop. I do capture a lot of screenshots. So my Twitter account, top right corner. Um, I do put some videos up there and usually a lot of screenshots what I've grabbed. Um, I don't mark them, I don't copyright them, they are mine per se, but anybody who wants to use them are free to grab them. Um, I'm still working on the 7th Skyscore website, 7th Skyscore Recruiting. Um, we're looking for a bunch of roles, so if you go to 7thSkyscore.space uh, in your browser, you'll be able to see what recruitment position roles, and you can just join our Discord and, well, grab and speak to a recruiter. We've, multiple, we've got roles open everywhere, um, and there'll be um, a newsletter available. Um, I will probably create a channel in the non-member section just for the newsletters to go up, so they're quite short. Um, I don't want to do emailing stuff and spam people with emails and, and all that nonsense because it's I find that annoying. So if people want them, then yeah, grab them, folks. Just go and grab them. Um, but you'll need to come into our Discord to do that. We're bumping recruiting up this year. Uh, we've got about 62 members at the moment and we want to bump that up slightly higher. Uh, Seven Sky Court is a private military company so we'll do everything a normal um, Army, Air Force, Navy unit would do. Um, I'm gonna, I, I, it was myself and, and Captain Liam, you saw the name earlier, if you were on earlier, uh, run the org from here with the help of some other people that we know in the org from other gaming communities who we trust, and uh, basically we're gonna try and, and build the org from there right now, as I said, we've got rules for everything, so if you just go to the website, top left corner, and um, have a look, see if you fancy any of the roles, if you do, speak to one of the recruiters and go from there. It's up to you guys mate, it's over 18s only, that's a must. Um, 
and we do have if you go there we do have spec ops in there but the person you want to speak to in the recruiters is Ro he actually runs that that's his baby um, within the game um, that gives the 7th Sky Corps plausible deniability they do very much clandestine special operation roles that the rest of the org won't do but that doesn't mean that you can't move from the main org into specialist operations that is a path that people can and will take we'll also take people from spec ops who aren't cutting the mustard at that point to come into ours and come back into the main org i am um, for me basically i'm concentrating on other than the day-to-day -day running of stuff and, and doing things and actually building the website out um i am mainly concentrating on uh, running logistics, um, building base bases and base the main base up from the start and going from there. Um, so helping out people running trading, mining, um, hopefully establishing relationships with other orgs once that ability comes in. Alliances will be run not by me because that's not going to be my job, um, but it could fall under that but I won't be running everything I'll be passing it's not like I'm going to be micromanaging the 7th Sky Core or Liam is either Liam has got other responsibilities within there to, to manage his own part um, you know we've got other guys in there who've got their part to manage um, and so that'll be my primary thing is, is looking and trying to organize logistics which will include things like you know moving from um, our org movements going from system to system, planet to planet, um, establishing and reconning and helping out that part of it. We do have a recon unit. That's a really an obsidian that runs that. So again, we've got we've got stuff on there. Recon is considered part of ground support because it's not direct. Um, the way we split the orging up, I'm going to put this in the next. I've been asked to put this in the new, new, new the next newsletter, so I'm going to do that. So it's basically a proposed over or overarching structure, and we'll give some details about what each part of the org is, and what the responsibilities or what kind of duties you'll be expected to do um, as 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 a member of that part of the organisation. We will have we will have uh, squadrons on the on the uh, and uh, wings and squadrons within the flight operations, and then ground operations will have companies and sections or and squads within that underneath. But again, we're not going to run that. The decision behind that will be done by uh, whoever's in charge of ground operations. So that'll be the ground operations commander, and the flight or fleet operations commander will look after the main bulk of what's going to happen for flight, op flight operations and ground operations. So we, do, we will have a ground commander and a fleet commander for those type of things for, for running that. And those guys will be responsible for that. They'll just need to report back to us and let us know what's going on. Or if they need a support from another, if ground and flight operations need support, they need to go through operations command. So operations command know what's, knows what's going on. But operations command will only offer advice out. It'll be up to ground and fleet command operators to actually, oh, someone's pinging, to decide what's going to go on uh, and keep everything in line with the main organization's plan. Um, and again, that is still going to include some work done by our Spec Ops guys if that needs to be done, but we've also got our legitimate um, recon unit who are completely legitimate and they're all legitimate about legitimate and being legitimate. But again, it's uh, in in game. It's all about oh, plausible deniability. Oh, hi, Eskin. Well, thanks, mate. Who's radar locked me? Someone's radar locked me. Is that you? That's Liam. So that's Liam. So he said he's Valkyrie. How did he know? Because he knew I was going to Laurelville, so he's trying to jump in here. So he's trying to stream snipe me, you see. This is what pisses me off. Piss off, Liam, you shitbag. Yeah, you can fucking hear me. So I'm going to turn cruise mode off. I'm going to ask for landing. This is the easiest way to do it right now. 
I'm not gonna hail Liam. Liam can kiss my butt. Yeah, there. Let's get my hanger. Where am I going? There we are. If you guys have got a question, please dump it into chat. I know there's a couple of people in here. I don't know how many of you are actual Star Citizen fans, never seen the game, don't know anything about it. I am actually a, a guide in SC, so I should be able to answer most of your questions about most of the combat, or most, most of the combat, most of the stuff in the game. If not, I do know where to get it from, or who to ask. So that's me coming in now. I love the Largo landing pads, Proximity they're so good. Alert. Deck. Gonna be lazy and take an automated landing, because I can't be bothered with doing it there. Let's call Liam up just to annoy him. Oh, is it not working on here? Damn it. Landing complete. Oh, good. Huh. Welcome. Welcome to Levski. Thanks, Eskin. Shields or is it Esklin? It's Esklin, isn't it? Right, let's get out. So I just need to get away from Hurston because it was doing my head in. And every mission I've tried to do so far this morning, or this early afternoon, has failed. Oh, this is the... Honest to God, I can do this. I can play the game, honest. Let's close the door. And let's get out of here. So this is Lorville. So we can take a little tour around here for people who haven't seen it in a while, or people who have never seen it. And uh, we can go from there. So getting into Star Citizen is not... It's not expensive, it's about the same as every other game. Um, you don't need a, some type of massive uber rig to play it. Uh, a lot of these are myths, and a lot of uh, bullshit. Um, Right now we've got everything that's in at the moment. The most important thing for play people right now is the fact that this year we're getting persistence in and that's full persistence is coming in. Right now the persistence we have is, um, what's what I'm looking for? Is, is what they're calling player platform persistence. So that is everything you earn in game as a player, we will keep for the moment, so that's all the money, um, all the money you earn, uh, any ships you buy, any modifications you add to your ships, um, anything you rent in game is saved off and persisted to the back end, so that means that when they patch it, or they release an interim, an interim patch, or they release a new quarter release patch, we don't lose anything, um, and that stays. Um, which means that through iterate patches for every quarter, they shouldn't have to do a player data reset unless they absolutely have to do a player data reset. Um, that's the biggest caveat. If a problem can't be resolved without resetting player data, they'll do it, but it will be a complete uh, last resort for that. So, fingers crossed they won't, they won't have to do that for 381 uh, and any subsequent patch they're going to do. We're still waiting for the, the Carrick to come in. So when PT is opened again, I will be streaming the PTU. So the folk get a flavor and can have a look at what's going on. I'm not in the Evocati test flight. Even if I was, you can't, oh, wrong place. Even if I was, you can't stream ETF. Uh, you're under NDA. Uh, that's a non-disclosure agreement. So you can't disclose, take screenshots, share anything of any type with the game while well, it's in that phase, but once, because I go into Sub's Concierge Group, which is the first wave open, or sorry, first wave of closed alpha testing, um, I'll get into that as soon as the ETF have done their part. ETF is there because it's far more focused testing. Subscriber Concierge gives them the ability for people to then do a bit more and be less focused testing and more gameplay testing. But there are people in subs and concierge who aren't in ATF who still do focus testing. I personally do a lot of regression testing when I get the chance. Um, if I can, if they've got anything in regression testing that I can check, I tend to go and do that as part of the part of me playing. Uh, so this is the grand barter. So we'll head down. 
into the Grand Bar itself. So this is the main trading hub for um, Lorville. You can see conscientious objects door over there, so that leads into uh, a weapons shop. That's an FPS weapons shop. Um, and so right now, uh, most of this stuff is you can't buy, but I'm presuming that a lot of this stuff will eventually become interactable and buyable. There's lots you can buy with the credits. Um, this guy's fairly Good selling. Deals, best in the market. Thanks, mate. Uh, so, yes, you will be able to buy these. These will be what they're known in the game as flare. So posters and all this, you, you, sh you'll, you will be able to buy them. Flare exists in the game. Because you get them in your hangar. Hey, this place... where are you going? Um, none of your business. He's a cheeky shit. So all this stuff you see is highlightable, so it's all interactable, which means it's all buyable. So right now, I'm in my space suit. I don't need to be in my space suit here, so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to get into my undersuit, remove my undersuit, and this will automatically put me into my chosen civilian clothing. That change has happened. And if we go into F4, you'll see that I'm no longer wearing that and I'm not dying because I don't need to be here. I've got my awesome glasses on. I don't need to do that. So, I, yeah, I can buy all these clothes in here. So this is the outerwear Arctic. Typical salesman. You're talking bollocks, mate. I can go to any kiosk and buy this shit. It's all robbed from Kaseba, to be honest. Um, food and drink. So player in the actor status system. God, it's just such the sales pitch right now. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to eventually buy all this stuff and put it in. Um, so that right now is only clothing and basically down here, guys, you'll see there's a bunch of junk being sold here. A lot of this will do with being able to do repairs or updates or, or player sustainability. Um, but these are the main things you're interested in right now. There's three, I think there's actually four uh, crypto chips. Um, so you've got the Well Esco, the Reauthorizer and the Tiger's Claw. They're all different prices because they all have different stats to them that allows them to work more efficiently. I am a cheapskate and I always go with the Walesco and just deal with it. You've got uh, Caudry's here which is the armor shop in Levski. Levski's quite nice, I quite like Levski. I didn't used to but I do quite like it. So Caudry's is an armor shop. Uh, you can have a wander around Levski. Levski's actually bigger than what this is. There's a lot of little corridors and stuff you can go exploring down. Levski's is not so much bigger than this. So this is, so they don't really sell much in Cordrays and I think this guy's a bit of an ass. Not as much as the ass that guy at Grim Hex, he's a complete tip. So you've got your undersuits, not everywhere and every kiosk sells everything. Uh, currently I'm wearing the execs undersuit, I quite like it because the gold pipe is black and the gold piping is quite nice. Um, I don't think they sell that here at all because it would be out of the rima than people normally hear. But you can see they do sell quite a lot of undersuits in here. Um, so let's look at the TCS ones. So the TCS ones are quite nice. There's the Arctic one which would go quite nice with mine. And the armor as well. That's what I want to see if they've actually got my armor set top. Because I'm wearing the Inquisitor White which isn't, as you can see, isn't actually white. It's, um, it's a cream color compared to the Arctics. Um, but I don't think they have it. Sienna ones. I quite like Sienna's nice. That's a really burnt orange color. It's quite nice. So you can see the Inquisitor Core White, it looks dark here, but against the Arctic set, it looks really, really um, creamy. This guy's selling way more armor than he used to. Right, there's the Arctic V. It's the Arc, it's the, or the Arc MK10. That's the one I'm looking for. So let's buy that bad boy and get it equipped. There we go. Thank you. Thanks mate. So Cordrays seem to have a lot more armor than they used to, but that changes from time to time, especially when the uh, economics comes in. Um, if you haven't watched any of the CitizenCon videos, I recommend you watch and watch Tony's. I'll need to go and put my undersuit on. Uh, undersuit, where is it? Where's my exact one? Let's equip that and it'll actually put the armor I had on and everything attached to that. So the way that the Star Citizen stuff works is you wear, um, that's a bug as well at the moment. 
you wear your undersuit, and then your undersuit has item attachments on it, and those items have item attachments on it. So once you have an undersuit, you can equip certain things onto the undersuit, and then say for your armor chest, depending on your armor chest piece, depends on what items you can attach onto that, how many weapons you can have, what equipment shops, uh, equipment slots they have. I'm going to take those off. Um, go into armor, and I'm going to take the Inquisitor Core White off. And so you can just see that I've just got the arms and that's the exec RSI there. So I'm going to equip the Arctic one there. So I'm now white. Nice and white. I'm stormtroopered up. Except for the faceplate because it's a full known faceplate. Uh, what utilities have I got? I do have the cutter attachment. I didn't know if I had the cutter attachment or not. I hadn't bought it. So I'm going to equip... I'm going to... Yeah. Put that in there, please. Unattach it from there, and I'm going to put my combat knife. I've got two for some reason. Don't know why. I'm going to put my combat knife in there as well. Uh, as you can see, I've not got any weapons attached. So. You're welcome. Now, uh, so that's Esklin telling me that he's going to storm a bit. Yeah, it did, man, I don't care. So, Laurelville's not huge, it's not a big place. It's uh, basically, it was, I don't want to say renegade, but it was people who dropped out of the UEE. It was a mining area, still is quite a heavy mining area, but all these people dropped out of the UEE um, and formed their own alliance. The lore behind how Laurelville and everything was formed. Hey. So it's worth a read, okay. to be honest. All the lore inside okay. the game is worth a read. I, I tend to spend my lunch times at work reading over the... Uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Reading over the stories, the serial, serialized stories that have been made by the lore team and from third parties. Some of it's really, really good. It helps lore out. It's worth looking at all the lore stuff with the planets and the history behind it. There's a lot of work gone in. I know we only really see Dave Haddock, Will Weisbaum, uh, Sherry Helberg and that within there, but there are far more many people working on it than there is there than we normally see. Um, so this is conscientious objects. So the weapons on the walls are not the only things you can buy. You do have kiosks everywhere, should now have kiosks. Um, so I'm not going to buy weapons because right now there is a bug where your weapons will just get deleted. It's probably a bug within the player status system um, where things aren't being saved. Also, if you've got a weapon equipped and you die, <sighs> honest to God, that's another Punsack58, another freaking botted account. Honest to God. I remember when we didn't have this problem. This is what happens when you open up APIs to people. Sucks. Oh, I've got an itch. Uh, so hospitals aren't in yet. Uh, medical gameplay should be coming in this year. Don't know when. Uh, when I know there's NPC healing coming. But I'm not quite sure exactly when. Uh, so yeah, as I'm saying, this is the Grand Bar. It's not a big place. It's very independent. It's been freed from. Um, themselves from the UE. There's their own jurisdiction. They have their own laws. Um, as you can see, we have no. Although it is currently a green zone, or what was referred to previously as an armistice zone, it does. Um, it doesn't have a com um, array coverage, so it's not UEE com array covered. Um, so I can't get my my fisty buffs out at the minute. Sorry, I've got chat open again. I'm going to close it. There's a lot of questions. I tend to try and ask as much as I can in there. Much to the objections of some people where I don't give them the answer they want. But I try and help out people in game and out of game as much as I look out the window. Are you out there, Liam? Which window? Oh, for Christ's sake, Liam. So this is Liam's Valkyrie. I can't see you, though. You're not stood at the door, mate. Are you in the gun? Because you've not rendered on the gun, mate. You're on the gun, that's not working. I'll give you a wave. They need to fix this. Or at least get rid of it. 
Yeah, you're on the gun. I can't see. I'm waving. Give us an emote. Rude 3 would work. So I'm zoomed in on Liam right now. So let's see if he can actually... So when he's on the gun, he's not rendered. So that's also a bit of a problem. It means that, that objects, objects aren't rendering inside. All oh, right, he's not going to give us a what. He's just going to close his door. Fine. Kiss my ass. Uh, right. Um, what if we can fit the ballista in the Valkyrie? Liam, can we fit the, vis the ballista in the Valkyrie? I don't know. Is it worth a go? Let's go and see if we can fit that in. Get your butt up to that place, Liam. You know the place. Land. I'll go up to the lobby, get the ballista out, and see if we can fit the ballista in. He's nodding. Excellent. Cheers, buddy. He's chasing me up now. So he's going to go over to a landing area, or a place he can land. I'm going to go head up to the top lobby and see if we can get the ballista in. So the blister is uh, ground to air or anti air uh, vehicle. Pretty cool. I do like it. Can't call it from down here. We need to go to the lobby. I'm going to call the lift here and head up. See what happens. See, look. I kill my user directory and everything's. Fine. Oh, I've just that's, I've said that now, and it's not. It's gonna crash. But the game is an alpha, so what do you expect? So we're in the top lobby. There's airlocks to the outside world in Lorville here. So let's get the ballista out. Liam is somewhere over there. He's not sent me a party invite, which is weird. None of these spams me with a party invite. But I know where he is. Uh, so. To get this in successfully, he's probably going to have to do it, or I'm going to get a All fine. right. Your ship's all ready for you. Thanks, Esclin. And what garage are we in? Four. So the Anvil Ballista is quite big, but it's not huge. It is quite big. The big thing, I think, if the Ballista is not going to fit, or it is going to fit, will be a height problem because of the top turret and the missiles. But we're going to have a little C. So this is the outside world, well, this is Levski. Those are not stars, those are asteroids. Uh, Delamar isn't, doesn't actually belong to uh, Stanton. It was put in as a, as a filler planet. It actually belongs, I think it's in the Nyx system, uh, according to the lore. So this will eventually get moved back to where it belongs at some point. Not quite sure when. Probably when Crusader comes in, I'm not sure. They might keep it here until Nyx is built. I don't know. So let's get in the Amber Ballista. Close the door. As you can see, it's not huge inside. Oh, and I'm just glitching through the roof. I did close the exterior, didn't I? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, it is closed, yeah. So let's just engage the systems. Let's go. Let's get this bad boy and see if we can fit it in. See you again one day. Thanks, S. Glenn, for floating in the space and showing me your groin. Oh, right, now you're in a pose. Let's get the lights on because it's this way. So this thing is big, laborious, and clumsy. Remember when we had this, we couldn't get the ballista out of here, but the, with the new Planet Tech V4, the roads seem accessible again. More accessible than they were in Planet Tech V3. But Liam will be over here somewhere. Yeah, there's a ship. So let's get... See how far we can get this. This is looking way more successful than it ever used to be. Because I remember when the ballista came out, we were going to park in Warville within distance of the landing area and start shooting people at the sky. Because that's valid testing, right? Uh, let's see if we can get through this gap. Yes, we can. Oh, 
crap, how do I get through there? And let's keep going. I can play this on the controller and drive on the controller, but I'm just using keyboard and mouse because I can't bother turning the controller on. Yeah, let's head this way. Oh, this is way more successful. Oh, crap, no, this is not a good way to go. So let's reverse this bad boy out. Let's get into third person view right now, and we'll just head up this way. Seriously? There we go. Over the top. There we are. That's better. Oh. So we're heading over to the balcony. left of this rock. I think this is the biggest land vehicle we have at the moment. Let's see if I can get this up, because this looks like it's blocked. Oh, there we go, and there's the Liam's Valkyrie. Oh, this should fit in quite nicely. I have now committed a crime. Vehicle collision. No, it's not going to go in. Look at the glitching on that. Ooh. So now I've got a couple of fines to pay. It's not good. So we'll show you basically what's happening is it's not going to go in because of the missiles basically. It's just not, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. So let's go later. I've just, oh, I can't believe I've got a couple of fines to pay. I hate that. I told them to invite me party. Vehicle collisions. So that's about, I think it's 1,215 it is for a vehicle collision fine. Liam. VOIP's actually working. It's been a bit flaky recently. Liam. Liam, it's not going to fit, mate. It's too tall, mother clucker. Alright, let's see if this is actually... I'm not getting to contact to general cont. Yeah, I'm not getting in. It must be down. It's not gonna fit, Liam. Just keep pressing the button. It's gonna steal his shit. I don't know how I can get a crime committed, a vehicle collision, when I'm not in a comm zone, but I'm not. Let's fly the Valkyrie out. See if I can destroy the ballista as well. Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Act proximity. Landing gear raised. See if we can get out of armistice and I can destroy that. It might not destroy it because the vehicle's in armistice. It seems to do a weird thing in green zoning. Does this thing have? It does. I didn't realise this had VTOL. Hence why I wasn't going anywhere. all mode I'm getting out of the seat. Liam gets upset when other people fly his ships. Gets all upset. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry! See, because I'm not in his party, you can see I've got completely restricted access to what I can do in the vehicle. Which is quite cool. I shouldn't be able to interact with much, to be honest. See, I can't operate the doors, I won't be able to operate the gun. Ooh. 
that's bugged. So again, I can't operate the doors, I can't do this. This should work. Is there an opening? These are all auto opening, so they should obey just for the fact that I'm here. But there is no Liam. I don't know where Liam is. Doesn't appear to be on the ship. Unless he's in a turret and I've missed it. He's not in the bottom turret. I probably left him on the planet's surface, that would be funny. Is he on the gun behind us? No, he's not in the turret behind us. So we've kind of abandoned him. Oh no, he's flying. He came in behind me. There he is, flying away. Let's lock him in his cabin. So basically, I'm restricted to what I can do because I'm not in the party with Liam. So I have restricted access to things in Liam's ship. I might, may get remote gun access. I don't know. Let's have a look. Power it on. Oh, I was getting in there. I was a bit impatient. So I've got access to the remote turret. See, there's no audio, and this is not a bug. This is because the turret's outside. You can just hear it. But we are kind of in space. And then Delamar has no atmosphere, per se. But let's just put rounds down, because it's good fun. I can't wait for full persistence, because it means little cheaty things that people are doing right now, which is just constantly claiming their ships. Uh, isn't going to remain a thing. Get out of this. Let's go and see if we can get into the back turret. Blow the ballista up. See, well, it's 12.8k hours. So probably not there. Oh, that's Liam. Firing stuff. Because you can do, obviously, mission sharing is a thing now as well. Oh, this is so Liam's been in here, has he? So we're on standard. I'm going to change fire mode. I prefer staggered. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, I'm on the top turret, so it's this turret here we can see moving up and down. That's the one I'm on. And Liam is hoofing his way along. So, there he is. Let me just get in a little bit. Oh, it's gonna crash, yeah. Well done, Liam. And there's Liam flying the ship there. He's lost uh, his front left engine's gone. He's clipped it on the floor. There's me. I think it's just showing off. <laughs> he's just showing off. Right, let's get out that turret. I don't know why I've got flame effects on me. Oh, it's flame effects from coming through the bat. I don't know how, but Liam's bathroom's on fire. I don't know exactly what's going on. VFX is clipping through the ship. You can see he's like, there we go, there we go. Let's let me in. This is probably one of my favourite ships. I don't own one. I don't see the point, but... Let's see if he gets the party invite. Because it's been a bit flaky recently as well. Party invite, some of the multiplayer stuff's not worked properly. He's got his lights on. Just passed over the armistice zone for Lord, uh, for for Levski. Party's in now. Can you hear me, now, Liam? Let's have a look. 
Connect to audio. Can you hear me now, Liam? Let's go blow shit up. So let's have a look at... Ba -ba -ba. Oh, Reco's given us a mission. So you don't see these until you actually do the Reco mission, which I've done. Failed it drastically because about 100 million people came in. Um, share that with Liam. That's Liam got the mission. Just gonna see what it is. Looks like he's picked it up. Yeah, we're off. So I'm gonna go and get in turret. Liam, I'm gonna get in bottom turret, mate. It'll be, oh fuck, no, sod it, I'll do this off. I'll stay in this off. Hopefully he's hearing me in game. I don't think VYP's working that great right now. It seems to be slightly rude. But we are heading to the rendezvous point. 20 minutes to get there and we're gonna do this mission. Come on, baby! Not like I need the cash, because I bloody do. Rendezvous, wait for the guy, he's over here somewhere. Just wait for the mission to update. So the Valkyrie is actually a gunship slash dropship slash cargo transporter. Nobody wants a lift, stop asking. I'll stop bringing it up. So Liam came in way too hot there. But that's okay. So I first staggered over, st staggered over standard fire, simply because um, who will be able to select him? He's blue. Um, s simply because before it gives we get started, let me break down how this patrol. I'll let this guy speak. We'll check each point to make sure it's clear, then move on. It's simple. Corporate and all their wisdom have ordered us to run these ops remotely, so I'll stay here and monitor you. So he's going to give us updates throughout the mission to tell us what's going on. Uh, whether we've got contacts in. He's running in a, uh, I think it's the Drake Herald he's running in right now. So Drake Herald is, a, is a, data, a data ship, so it's got increased, better scanners, you know, uh, better detection of third party radar, IR and EM signatures. Um, so he's able to sit there in the patrol route area and actually tell us what's going on. So we'll get announcements off him throughout this mission. Uh, and I can't remember what I was talking about. So this is just one of the mission types. This is just so Rekka Batalia who runs the or helps organize the align the mining alliance on uh, Levski on Delamar um, to make sure that the mining claims in and around Delamar remain theirs. So pirates will come in and they'll try and take claim off it. That's what the claim jumper missions are about over the entire system. Um, but this is one particularly just for Levski, just for Delamar because it's theirs. There's lots of different mission types um, right now and we're getting more and more and more coming in. So we've got some hostiles. So we're going to go in we're going to go a lot. So there are quite, right, so we've got one, two, we've got quite a few. So we've got four. So this is going to be fun. I don't know where Liam's headed to. In top turret. This is going to be 
be difficult because Liam is actually trying to target and fire at the same time that I am. So I'm just trying to, let's just go uh, find the closest one that I can actually engage and just start engaging it. So Valkyrie's not too, too, oh you came out of range, you know, like, I'm out of distance. Liam is gauged and he's, right, I've got this guy. Hitting him, but I'm just not getting the marker to say I am hitting him. So we've entered the jurisdiction of the Peak of the Lions, so that's the. So he's gone. That's excellent. Nice, Liam. Right, who's next? Uh, they're on our six. Closest one is 3k out, that's Mickey. So I've engaged him. He's in a cutlass black, so that's slightly better armor, better shielding than. So we got two left, three left. Come on. Right, looks like this guy's gonna be first. Let's just engage the same target. I'll switch if I need to. You piece of shit! Come on, David Lockhart. I'm going to turn down my mouse sensitivity because that's clearly a bit of a problem right now. Okay, I'm going to be targeting someone on our six. Jesus, where the fuck is he? Taking a good punishment here. Good, he's gone. Excellent. Right. Right, let's got this guy, you got Mickey again, so let's season a black again. Let's try and see if we can get his shields off. These are energy weapons, so that's what they're better at. UEE space now. Excellent. He is. He does not have to be valued. Switch him back to Stagger again. Gunning is a pain in the ass because you're not just. That's well, a Mustang. These should be easy. Um, because not only am I having to count the pilot I'm fighting against, I'm also countering Liam's movements. So it's it can be quite difficult to try and even get a target hit. But the sustained fire coming down, it's energy weapons. So, you know, what we're doing is using power, and it does assist the main gunning. There was only one of us, so if we had someone on the bottom turret and we had the remote turrets armed, this guy would have been gone by now. But I slagged off. <laughs> I gave, uh, I gave Citizen Con a bit of a, a, a shtick when I was there, because he wasn't able to hit anything. Yeah, 
know, I'm, I'm basically eating humble pie right now because I am sh aiming shit like shit at the minute. The gun weapons on here aren't that powerful, plus we're seeing spikes and player update. He's only got one wing, he's only got one landing gear, his other landing gear is gone. Things having trouble tracking him as well, but it looks a bit... This is not the most maneuverable ship in the world. This is not meant for dogfighting. You probably want everybody manned up on this. It's designed for... Oh, he's spinning, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, nice hits. Right, so we've got another couple of them to go, probably. Uh, is there another...? We've got a couple of bounties, player bounties we can do. That might be worth then trying, it might be worth doing, so... We'll head off, finish this patrol area one. I don't want to end up doing more than we need to. Uh, gonna switch gyro mode as well, see if that helps. Hmm. Switch back. Standard fire mode from Staggered. Oh, we're going through the asteroid, are we? Oh no. Definitely lost the detail there, dude. That's not gonna help. That's not good. It's dark out there. Nice fly flies, Lily. Ready up, you've got hostiles inbound. Okay, we've got another set coming in. Okay. We have got four contacts again. They're all reasonable distances out. It's just psycho targets. We have got five contacts. Okay. Yeah, we got it. See, this is why I prefer I use staggered fire mode. What's the ship like? We're okay, I think. We're actually fine, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna try and give Leo a cover this time. It's definitely late to there. Just by putting fire down, spreading fire down. Try and keep these guys away from us. Good job. I'm gonna try and keep us. So they've clustered together, the first one's down. So we can get these guys, I can just continue to damage them. Six, six. Oh. Disruption weapons are ridiculous. Liam, you need to get us away from here, dude. Try and single these guys out. They're just gonna strip strip us apart. So the AI ship fight has got way better. They are way more responsive and reactive to us. They don't sit around as much. We need to draw these guys out. See if we can draw them out singly out of the group, mate. If we had another ship or another couple of guns, we'd probably find it a lot easier, but. It's just the two of us.
It needs to be a really simple fight for the guys. Oh, that was not good. That was us. That was us. That was us taking hits. Let's get this chase guy down. Mustang Delta are really maneuverable. They don't have much. We've only got two targets left, which is good. Don't know how badly damaged we are. We are taking hits through the shields. Missiles, unless you use them all. <laughs> Missile the crap out of them. Nicely. Right. I think you're good. No, we're not. We've still got Go one on. left. Head on out. Oh, it's a buccaneer, so this shouldn't be too bad. I think this guy is not in a good place anyway. See, his district targets are easy to hit. We are pounding him now. He's going to die very, very quickly. Shields are gone. Armor's going to be gone in a minute. Guns up here are not that powerful. I'm not quite sure what size they are. But they're not brilliant. But they're doing okay. These are definitely not as powerful as the ones Liam's using on the front of his ship. I think they're a size down. Ooh. Right, that's good. So this should hopefully be our last. I think it's either three or four we have to do. But we'll soon find out. It's, it's a lot of work for not a lot of cash on these guys. It's uh, if you do this on your own, it's five thousand UBC, which, in the scope of things, is not a lot. Don't you do it? Hang on, I'm plotting our next stop. Okay, so hopefully this will be it. If not, it means the mission's bugged again. Because we've had a couple of these where your whole position and then make the, the mission won't update for whatever reason and uh, hopefully it might be the fact that we're done done and it's not closing down properly but this happened the other day so I am gonna power off the turret and come down and see what happens where's my power off button? there it is And you can see the ship has taken damage since the last time we came up. If we were had the ability to repair right now, we would be. The ship is not in a good place, but that's okay. Let's have a look and see what else has given us nonsense. But yeah, that was fights and a half. We're doing 
need that then, but... So now, as you can see, now that we're in party, I've actually got full access into Liam's ship now. That was the other thing I was trying to say earlier before we went into the fight. That if you're not in party but you're in someone's ship, you will have restricted access to what you can and can't do on the ship. Looks like this is bugged out again, Liam. So you'll see that we've met set on every patrol area with coordinates, which we've done. Whole position for the next patrol is determined. We've done. But the last time this happened, we sat for a while here. Uh, the mission just didn't move just didn't move forward, so I don't know what's causing it's obviously something either within the mission itself or one of the subset one of the system dependencies isn't being told to update or isn't sending us data to update back. So Definitely not doing its job. Pick another mission, mate. Um, another combat one. You might want to repair this or we'll get rid of this and go into something else because this is pretty screwed. Uh, see if we can pick another mission, mate. We can drop this because this doesn't look like it's going to update again. I'll leave that in your capable hands. Let's go down. So yeah, the ship is not in a healthy state. I don't know how badly damaged it is, but it's certainly... Oh, there you go guys, really small bug. That's not rotating. Could be common on all the assets actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like none of the assets are rotating. The light's moving, but the actual... The actual reflector isn't. I can open the back door. Not well, that I'm gonna step out into space. So, we're off to Quantum. I don't know where Liam's going. You see our little markers down here. We're gonna. I'll leave that up there just now in case it completes, but I doubt it. Looks totally bugged. Quite sure where we're going. Let's have a look. Open the door. Let's have a look where we're headed. So it looks like we're heading to Port Alasar, heading into Crusader. the trajectory Liam's taken, because this is where we are right now. So you can see we're actually live moving through the map. A lot of people seem to think this is all fake, but it's not. Star uh, CIG had to basically re-engineer Lumberyard engine um, to be able to allow it to be more than this, because its default state is the it, um, it's level based, level loading based. So to be able to accept these as a level, they had to rewrite how that worked. Because um, nothing in here is every the entire universe is a level if you're going to look at it that way. But what they've done is they've created an objecting system that's quite uh, quite down. It's millimeter precision in the engine. That's why it's in 64 bit because they need that type of floating number point calculation to be able to be millimeter precise with things. So we're coming into Crusader now. It's not been that quite a jump. The Valkyrie's got a good actually. That's really quick. This has got a really quick quantum drive, I didn't realise. So we're about to come into uh, Port Al uh, well, to Crusader, probably heading to Port Alisar. So let me zoom in, so... Yeah, we're about to come in really quickly. So that's us coming in now. We're going to dump out in a minute. Dump, there we go. So this is as at Crusader. Let's see where Liam roots us to next. 
So Crusader is a gas giant. Uh, if you go to the arc map on the website, robertspaceindustries.com, star map, you should be able to see that. So it looks like we are heading to Port Olisar. Liam's just aligned for it now. I'll just highlight it. It's not that far, the jump will be tiny. Again, the uh, art map in here gives you some information, basic information about it. I think we're waiting for the quantum drive to cool down. Yeah, Liam's just starting to align now. Or we're we going to Grim Hex. I don't know where we're going. Let's have a look. Let's see if we're we going to Grim Hex. No, we're not. Where are we going, Liam? Oh, he's gone to an OM marker. Are we heading to Selin, for chance, and then to... Where are you going, Liam? Oh, is oh right, okay, so was Port Alsar blocked then? Are we now heading back? Let's find out what direction we go. No, we are headed to Selin. Where are we going when we get to Selin, Liam? Are we going to security post Karay? have a look. I think Liam wants to go to Cray for some PvP, see if there's any badmans around. Completely confident that the ship's fine, obviously with it being on fire and sparking. We're aligned and we're off and we're at Cray. Right. Let's get this off. Let's go and see if there are any badmans around. Lock Liam's door. Let's head up. Okay, so I have got crap weapons right now, but we're going to go land there and we're going to go and do this PvP mission. So let me get whatever weapons I've got available to me because they are really restricted because I've not been replacing them. Uh, let's go for that. Again, because the weapons were all attached. Let's do that one. And I've got no there, so I have no weapon, <laughs> no magazines capable for that. So they both take the same. I've got a bunch of things, I just haven't replaced the weapons. But I do have my pistol. Uh, where is it? So I've got. Let's put this one in, the Voyager Ballistic Pistol. But there is an FPS bug at the minute, so this might not work um, amazingly well. Because we have to start pissing around with the weapons to actually get them to work. But we'll soon find out. So, we we'll open the door. So we're coming in now. Landed. And I'm getting out. You can see it, I can't use it. Switch another pistol. This is the, the the big problem. Is why I've not really done much FPS work on um, or FPS gameplay on this patch because it's been relatively unreliable. Just waiting for Liam. So let me go in and change my mission so I know how we're tracking. I'll update this. So let's follow him behind Liam. I'm 
Okay, this is gonna be fun. He's checking his weapons actually working. <laughs> okay. Let's clear this. I'm not really seeing. Anybody? I bet my shotgun's deleted. This is another problem with this mission as well at the moment, is that it's buggy, so therefore the mission doesn't execute properly. So we don't know if this is actually socks related or not, because server-side objective container streaming stuff is come in play. So I'm not quite sure if this is what's caused that. This mission is pretty cool. Fighting the AI. However, looks like this is bugged out as well, mate. Woohoo! And the FPS weapon bug again is such a pain in the ass. clearing this floor just to see if because the mission I think what it is is the missions aren't moving forward correctly so I think Sox isn't aware oh Liam bought a new QD for it Liam's been spending a lot of money on equipment on his ships I haven't right now I haven't bothered because I lost about 80k because of 30k's and some crashes and stuff um I'll be able to pick up the weapons from the bad guys if they actually spawn in. If they come in, I should be able to uh, pick their weapons up and use them. Which is nice. Yeah, there's definitely no one here. Yeah, no one here, mate. The mission's bugged again. should see this bug as well. So on armor and weapons on here you'll see that my primary weapon is actually deleted. It's gone completely. Not the fact that I haven't got it, it's literally gone. Um, which is massively annoying. I don't know, I don't really know what's causing it but it is a bit of a pain in the butt. Hence why I don't do many of the FPS missions. I haven't rebought missions because if, if money and stuff is stationary and has stayed, then we may as well just get the hell out. You don't have to press the button, Liam. So this mission is bugged, so we may as well drop it. Oh, hang on. Let's get to the Valkyrie first. So yeah, Kure is not an armistice zone. Uh, what used to happen here is players would be hiding the DVA up onto some of the, the structures around here, Kure and they would snipe you as you were coming out or you were coming in. So if you had a crime stat, a lot of people would, would, would park the ships up, leave them, then EVA off into somewhere, and then they'd snipe you coming in. So when you got off your ship, you had to be quite careful. But Karay's been quite empty for a while, which has been, um, which has been nice because it means it's a, a relatively reasonable place to get in. 
So let me go drop that mission because it's not working either. So we're gonna abandon those, abandon that as well. So lots of work and lots of dropping out. Lots of abandoning some of these missions. The FPS bug right now is probably the biggest quality of life thing they need to fix. Um, because it's a big problem right now. There's the 890 jump mission. Amazingly good fun. Can't do it because of the, 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 the fact that your weapon can get deleted randomly when you switch in and out. Or that you're uh, landing gear raised. Uh, or your weapon will just delete, or the fact that it won't fire at all. Uh, these are all fine in 372, so 38, they, they uh, CIG know this is not stable. So I expect us to get a really, a patch really fast, really quickly soon to fix this in January. So we are waiting for three ships to come out. So we're waiting for the. Um, Carrick, the Cutlass Red, um, and the the ship that Liam's got, uh, the Asperia Prowler, which is a dropship. So we're waiting for the Prowler to come out as well. Um, we haven't had a roadmap update since the 20th of December, so we're about two, maybe three weeks away. Uh, so hopefully this Friday we should get a new one. We're going to come at PO, so uh, when we get landed in here I'm going to kill the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, coming along again. This was just me giving a test. I've got a lot of stuff on my stream to sort out. You know, I've got, as I said, I've got sponsorship things to put up. Um, I've got uh, adverts to put in place. A lot of stuff to rebuild back up on here that I haven't got. So I'm trying to add these back in uh, bit by bit by bit. Uh, again, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch only right now. Eventually, I'll probably stream to both Twitch and YouTube, but uh, I tested YouTube the other day uh, with streaming to Twitch at the same time through Restream, and the quality on YouTube was awful. Um, sorry, YouTube, but facts are facts. I need to double check again, so there'll probably be another couple of test streams up where I won't be on camera, and um, it'll be me just pissing around. There's Liam come out, we've landed now. Liam's dressed in his Inquisitor armor red, he loves his red Inquisitor armor. I will admit it's really nice. I tend to draw, I tend to, I tend to stick with the Stormtrooper look at the moment. Just because, why not? I quite like the white in the Arctics. And Liam is not auto-landed. You can tell because it's not straight. Good job Liam, well done. Uh, so Liam is also one of the other is one of the main commanders of the Seven Sky Corps as well. As I said, we are recruiting guys. So if you are interested in joining us, we are a PMC. PMCs are really useful because, as organisations, we're not locked into doing one type of gameplay. It's a military unit. So as I said at the start, we are uh, a PMC who is uh, going to be doing all sorts of different gameplays because we are a military unit. We will be doing military stuff. Um, guys, thank you all for coming by. I'm going to stop the stream now. Uh, further down the line, this is going to be a bit more fluid. Uh, hopefully, things will be a lot cooler. Thank you guys for coming along, and I'll see you next time. Bye!